by Meiko Kawakami. Heaven was published in Japanese in 2009. This novel won Murasaki Shikibu Prize for Literature. It is an award reserved for female authors. Heaven is translated in English recently by Sam Bent and David Boyd. Heaven is a story set in Japan in the early 90s, pre-internet period and the time when school bullying was still a very predominant problem in Japan. The main plot is about two teenagers getting bullied all the time who are in their middle school. The story is narrated by a boy nicknamed as Ice because of his right lazy eye. His real name was never mentioned throughout the story. Ninomiya, a boy from the same class, who is an athlete, topper, handsome and very popular, keeps bullying Ice regularly. I often heard or read that children could be cruel in spite of their innocence. But Ninomiya's bullying is far too unimaginable to my thinking. The description of his bullying made me shudder and speechless. It ranges from mocking his lazy eye, hitting him, kicking him, force feeding him chucks and leftover food from animal cages to shoving him in a dusty locker for hours. I suffer silently. He doesn't even consider complaining to parents or school authorities. At the most, he thinks of staying home for a day or two or sometimes suicide. They are the only options he could think of. There is another boy in the bully group of Ninomia named Momos, who is equally brilliant and handsome as Ninomia. But Momos neither bully eyes nor defend him. He is just present in the group. Momos is a spectator to those torturous episodes. At home front, Ice has an uncaring father who was never at home and a stepmother who is not really attached to either of them. Ice survives with a constant fear of losing this fragile, balanced home. On the whole, his home life is lonely and stifling. School life is just torturous. He yearns for human connection, but too afraid to seek. In this background, defending himself from bullying is too far for Ice. We feel very sad that his parents, school authorities and classmates are unaware of his suffering. Ice had to endure this day in and day out. One day, Ice gets a handwritten note from a girl called Kojima in his class, offering him friendship. He is so apprehensive and afraid to accept this. But it is the only happy thing in his life. He had to take it. Kojima is bullied by the girls all the time, just like Ice. Girls make fun of her looks, poor hygiene and clothes. Kojima's mother divorces her poor father and marries a rich man. Kojima lives with her mother and stepfather with a lot of resentment. Slowly, friendship develops between Ice and Kojima, which they prefer to keep as secret for obvious reasons. They never acknowledge or defend each other when they get bullied in the classroom. In fact, they turn their face away when the other one is getting bullied. They never discuss this even when they are alone. But they are fully aware that the other one is watching when one of them is getting bullied in the classroom. On Kojima's suggestion, they both visit an art gallery in summer break. Kojima shows eyes a painting of a man and a woman. She says they went through a lot of suffering and finally they are in harmony. Kojima renames the painting as heaven. Kojima has her own perception about suffering. She says it all happens for a reason. And at the end of the suffering, one becomes a better person. She is against any kind of defense or retaliation. She even discourages eyes from doing so. Kojima embraces the suffering and makes a martyrdom out of it. Honestly, Kojima's attitude towards suffering sounded very philosophical and far ahead of her years to me. Ice blames his suffering on his lazy eye. He thinks if he looked normal like others, he would not have suffered. Though it looks like he succumbs to the bullying, he suffers a lot inwardly. It breaks our hearts to read those episodes. One would feel like a hugging Ice and saving him from all the bullies. Once Ice confronts Momos, Ninomiya's ally, about bullying and suffering, Momos laughs carelessly and shrugs about all the suffering they cause. He says, 
It doesn't happen for a reason. It happens because one can get away. No one cares for others' feelings. It is stupid to think that one should care for others' feelings. I personally felt it is surprisingly very worldly, selfish and materialistic for that age group. Finally, before the high school, I get to visit an eye doctor for rectifying his lazy eye. The doctor gives a very positive answer, saying that if the surgery goes well, he could really forget about that once he had a lazy eye. But my question is, what about the suffering he underwent? Story ends here giving us a hope that eyes gets rectified and will not suffer in his high school days ahead. But Kojima's situation is left as an open end. Though outwardly, heaven looks like a coming of age story with bullying as main theme. But if we think deeper, it is more like Miko Kawakami dwells deeper into the fact that why people suffer. She makes lengthy discussions about this and gives various perspectives through her characters like Ice, Kojima and Momos. Thank you for listening friends. 